Transport Minister Terry Mulder has put on an extraordinary performance while appearing before a parliamentary estimates committee. He's lashed out at the previous government, angrily claiming it failed to protect Melbourne's travelling public. A fiery transport minister started with a bang. Appearing before Parliament's Estimates Committee. And you have to remember, you actually lost, and you lost a lot of your votes on public transport. But then came this extraordinary gap, rewriting the state's rail history. They discovered there were sections of the metropolitan network that had uh, rail that would, had been there for some 300 years. What, since 1700? What are you talking about? There's no settlement. Sections of rail line. <coughs> 300 years. I thought they knew something about Australian history, history I didn't. But Brighton locals may not be waiting long for a big budget favour. The Minister revealed the government's considering building a road tunnel near the closed New Street Rail Gates, a pet project of local Liberal Minister Louise Asher. To great separate New Street does seem to be an extraordinary expense to go to. The budget commits $2 million to the New Street plan and $16.5 million overall for great separations. Crossings across the state are ignored and funding's being poured into this project for Louise Asher. Mr Mulder also revealed the federal government is keen to establish Avalon as a second international airport and help build a rail line to the site. The minister promised to talk to us, but he failed to return. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.